YouTube, what's good, man? This is uh, Mike right here from MJ Boxing back again with another video. If any new viewers out there, man, please subscribe to the channel. All I do is talk about boxing. But yeah, about an hour ago, man, uh, we got a new IBF middleweight champion, Jermaine Taylor. He just defeated um Australia's uh, Sam Solomon. Uh, he's a veteran fighter in the game, man. He's like, you know, 44, now 12 losses, 18 knockouts and a draw, something like that. New champ. You know, Jermaine Taylor, um, he's now, uh, I think, 33-4, one draw with, like, uh, 20 knockouts, something like that. But anyway, um, he just defeated Sam Solomon. Uh, both guys are old. Sam Solomon is in his 40s. Jermaine Taylor's, like, I don't know, 36, 37, something like that. He's a new champ, man. Um, I didn't see the fight. I saw the highlights, but I'm going to just, you know, talk about a little bit of history about you know, Jermaine Taylor and, you know, what he's been through, you know, stuff like that. So, I'm pretty sure a lot of people looked at this fight and they was like, how the hell did Jermaine Taylor get a title shot? And I think he's ranked number 15, if I'm not mistaken, in the IBF. You know, a lot of people probably like, how the hell did Jermaine Taylor get a title shot? I think post-fight interview, Jermaine Taylor, all he said was, thank you, Al Heyman. Thank you, Al Heyman. So, that's pretty much, you know, what it all boils down to, man, Al Heyman. It's the guy. Thank you, Al Heyman. Thank you, Al Heyman. But um, you know, I think um, you know, Sam Solomon injured his leg, I believe, in the seventh round. So he's pretty much you know fighting you know one legged from the seventh to the twelfth. But uh, I think um, Taylor knocked him down a few times, and I don't know the seventh or the eighth round. I don't know what round it was. Like I said, I only saw highlights. And um, but he knocked him down a you know a few times, and one of those rounds. But he was pretty much fighting one-legged from the seventh round to the last round. And um, like I said, man, a lot of people looking at this and they were like, how the hell did Jermaine Taylor get a title shot? I mean, different strokes for different folks, man. I mean, Jermaine Taylor's been through a lot. Uh, 2000 bronze medalist defeating the great Hall of Famer, you know, Bernard Hawkins twice in 2005. That's when he was the, you know, undisputed middleweight champion. The undisputed. He had just came off. He was three years removed. You know, from being Trinidad, so he was the shit back in 05. Jermaine Taylor beat him both times, so it, you you have to put Jermaine Taylor in there as a Hall of Famer. It's like, once you be a Hall of Famer, you automatically, in my opinion, in my opinion, get put into the Hall of Fame. So it's almost like you cannot deny nobody that's back to the Hall of Fame. Once you be a Hall of Famer, you automatically go in there, you know what I mean? He beat Hopkins at the time. Hopkins was like on 39-40. Hopkins is still going now at 50, so he beat Hopkins twice. He was the undisputed middleweight champion. So he automatically, in my opinion, becomes a you know future Hall of Famer. But anyway, man, after that, man, he suffered like, you know, he got like, I don't know, three or four. He had four losses back to back. And I think he took a loss against uh, Arthur Abraham, Carl Frotch, and um Somebody else, but his most brutal, you know, knockout was obviously Arthur Abraham. For those who didn't see the fight, go on YouTube, you know, type in the fight. Abraham's KO over Taylor. You'll see it in the last round. He throws the left hook. It was kind of grazing. And then a straight right hand, straight down the pipe. And Taylor went down. When he went down, his arm was like up like this. Like he was, he thought he was standing up and his arm like slowly went down. And then he got counted out. And he got, you know, injured badly, man. He had small, you know, um, brain blood or blood on his brain a little bit. Brain, His brain was bleeding pretty much. The point I'm trying to make is he got injured in a fight. He got, you know, brain damage. They said his speech was slurred. And um, from, the, from then on, from that fight, man, a lot of people didn't think, you know, Jermaine Taylor could come back. I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't want him to come back. And he took a little, you know, small break. I thought he was done after that, man. He ended up making a comeback, you know, winning, um, you know, a few fights. And I think he took out maybe a year or two years off, something like that. So he pretty much got the okay, you know, from the uh, doctor or whatever. And he decided to make a comeback. And you would think if somebody got brain damage, slurred speech, you would think that, you know, they would stay out of the game. But, you know, it's kind of hard, man. You don't know what these fighters are thinking. You know, they have a family to take care of. And um, you just don't know what fighters are thinking, man. You might think, you know, or he can get injured. Like, Tim, for, for an example, Tim Bradley had a fight against um, Ruslan Pavonikov. He got brain damage in that fight. Slurred speech for two months. 
And he came back and forth twice after that. So it's almost like, you, unless you're a fighter, it's almost like you don't know what these fighters are thinking. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what keeps them fighting them. Like for, an, for another example, Roy Jones is still fighting it out on 45, 46. A lot of people probably still wonder why the hell is he still fighting. He's been on, you know, pay-per-view you know, numerous times. Y'all know Roy Jones was undefeated. He went 50 and 0 or 49 and 0, something like that. And he was on pay-per-view numerous times. I'm pretty sure a lot of people were thinking, why the hell is he still fighting? And he, you know, fighting bums. I mean, I don't know, man. Can't nobody explain it. I can't explain it. I don't know if it's for money or I don't know, man. But, you know, Jermaine Taylor, he's still fighting on. He's a new IBF uh, champ. And, uh, you know, he's a new champion. So I think his mandatory would be uh, the guy that... Uh, the guy that beat uh, Curtis Stevens, uh, Nassan Endam, I believe, Endam, Nassan Endam, whatever his name is. So that's his mandatory IBF, you know, guys. So I think those two are going to square off. Um, we'll be in October, so they'll probably square off uh, early part of next year. See who will win that fight against Nassan and, um, you know, Endam and, uh, you know, Taylor. And, um, yeah, man, so, uh, you know, Taylor's a new champ. And, uh, like I said, man, I didn't see the fight. I saw, you know, little highlights here and there, and I was, you know, reading on it. And I'm just basically giving my take, man. I think, uh, like I said, man, Taylor's the future Hall of Famer. He beat Bernard Hawkins. And, um, you know, you have to give him his just due, man. I mean, and plus, he just came out of jail on bail. You know, after shooting, you know, his cousin. And, you know, his cousin tried to, you know, break into his home. Him and another guy tried to break into his home a couple months ago. He had to shoot up his cousin a few times, and you know he's been through a lot, man. So he's out on bail, and it's good to it's good that you know they giving him a chance to make a living. And um, you know, it's just unfortunate, man. You it's just unfortunate that you would think your family members would you know try to sneak into your house, or you know you you letting them in, you thinking everything cool, and they trying to you basically I'm robbing your ass. So by that point, man, it's and that point is basically self defense. But the point I'm trying to make is, man, you know, Javane Taylor's been through a lot, man. You know, brain damage, you know, shooting up his cousins. You know, he's just been through a lot, man. So I think, you know, people should just give him his props, man. He got the belt. He's a champ. You know, Miguel Coase, another champion. And, uh, you know, Golovkin is another champion. And um, WBO, no, wait, wait. The belt did, um, yeah, WBO, I think, um, yeah, um. Uh, Quillen just vacated that, so we got three champions, you know, uh, Cotto, uh, you know, we got Cotto, Golovkin, and, um, you know, Taylor, so, what's next for Taylor, he has to fight in the sign and, um, early next year, so we're gonna find out what's gonna happen with him and, um, y'all hit me up in the comment section below, let me know what y'all thought of this fight, and holler at me, I'm out, alright, peace.